Jimmy Hare is known as one of the most outstanding pioneer photojournalists. He served as a catalyst in the evolution of the photographer to a full-fledged reporter with a camera. During his career, Hare covered nearly every major world event, from the wreckage of the U.S. battleship Maine to the closing days of World War I. Hare was born in London in 1856. His father, George Hare, was a manufacturer of small handmade cameras. In 1889, Hare moved to the United States and began working as a freelance photographer for Illustrated American, a magazine committed to using only half-tone photographs. Hare supplied the magazine with photos of events ranging from presidential inaugurations to sporting matches. A month after Hare left Illustrated Magazine in 1898, the battleship Maine exploded, signaling the start of the Spanish-American War. Hare then presented himself to Coilers Weekly and offered to take pictures of the wreckage. The editor of the magazine was later quoted saying, The Maine blew up and Jimmy blew in. Hare's photos of the wreckage and of Cuba were so successful, the publisher named him special photographer for Coilers. Whether trekking over the Cuban countryside, touring battlefields, or following Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders, Hare remained resourceful in his coverage of the Spanish-American War. Hare made use of the new folding cameras and roll film. This lightweight equipment gave him more mobility than his competition. In addition to his exploits in Cuba, Hare's escapades brought him to the combat lines of the Russian-Japanese War, the Mexican Revolution, and World War I. However, not all of Hare's exploits took place on the battlefield. He is most known for being the first to record on film the experiments of the Wright brothers in 1908. In 1903, the Wright's first successful flight took place, but five years later, the public remained unconvinced that men had actually flown because no one had documented and published any proof. The Wright brothers refused to allow reporters to witness their experiments at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Hare was determined to check out the rumor, so with four other reporters from separate publications, he secretly went to the Wright brothers' testing area. The five men spent two days hiking over the sands of Kitty Hawk, took cover in a clump of bushes near the site of rumored flights, and waited for something to happen. After hours of waiting, the reporters finally heard the sound of an engine and watched in disbelief as a machine glided across the sand and gradually rose into the air. Hare ran out of the bushes and managed to snap two photographs of the airborne machine. Because Hare was so far away, the image in his photo was small, but Coilers was proud to publish the picture in its May 30, 1908 issue. Nowadays, reporters are expected to take photographs and videos, get sound bites, write, edit, and publish their own stories. Jimmy Harris served as a building block and role model for what we now call the backpack journalist.